don't even know what to say. We're yeah, all speechless. Yeah, we are yeah. all speechless. Yeah. yeah, we are all speechless. 100%. Boy. But let's move on to the main event now. Let's get it But going. before let's we move on, on to the, the main, main event, event, though, first of all, I just want to say a big thank you to every single one of you in the audience right now. At the end of the day, you all have to have each other's backs. You have to support your teammates. You have to support your family and th things like that. And that is a true display of support and love. So big thank you to all of you. I love, love. It's time to introduce our main event of Wicked and Bad number four. Please welcome to the stage, Tommy the Judge Hench. Everything, who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I beg you, lock down, do I'm the curious, physical thing. I'm I hop in the Porsche, five yeah, and a yeah. horse, I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in signs to let them and talk up their body. Another one body, this is how it go. I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I'm stay on the go. I can He's appear with the way. pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me. They're not double up again, none of their nose, none of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted, so I'm to the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close. I let them think that they got me. Honest way into I had the rip into the stage. Spoke. I'm ready Tell to me. smoke. I need to know everything. Who in the what and where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, it's five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for ghosts to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now they ain't go harder than me. They need a blade in a sheath, a shank in a piece, a crate full of heat, an army of fleet, a tank in a jeep, a navy at sea, where they some marine, an ace up their sleeve. And now, introducing his opponent. Tommy, not so little. Yeah, uh, round round by myself. Be fine by myself. Mm. I don't need no one help. Mm. I don't need no one else. Mm. Be careful Build it by seat. myself. Mm. Bird being from top shelf. Yeah, I don't need no one. I don't need no one. Mm. It's all right, lads. He's safe. It's all right. He's safe. It's all. He's all right. He's all right. Tommy, I promise you, you're all right. Oh, well, lovely suit, man, as well. Can I just nice. ask you guys, I know he's your entourage, can I ask you guys like to step up the stage a little bit? We just, want, we just want to get the fighters like on the shot. I like your little tan as well. It's like you're taking a little tip off me. It's good, I, I, you know Yeah, I mean? a couple of more sunbeds, but I'll be there. Yeah, you might be a bit pale on the 18th, but, you know, yeah. let's, hope okay. you, let's hope you make it through. Listen, let me tell you something. You'll be lucky to see the 18th. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start, with, let's start with Tom Little. What does this fight mean to you? It means the same as any other fight. Getting out of a fight, get paid, that's it. That's the job. Would you say, obviously, the first fight, you wasn't taking it serious, and this one... Oh, it won a fight. It's, it's in Sunday smoke. Listen, when you've boxed at the levels I've boxed at, it's a glorified spar in a gym. And so, you know, when you, when you look at, like, listen, Tommy, fair play, if I be honest with you, I actually didn't think the man was even going to turn up, hence why like, well, I carried on about my business at the weekend, right? But, listen, fair play to him. He turned up, whatever happened, but listen, I let the gremlin out his box... I'll have to put him back in it. That's it. All right. And Tommy Hench, obviously, I held my hands up last time. I was doubting you. I even called you like three, four times saying, please don't go ahead with this. So I had to be honest. I did doubt you, but you got the win. What's happening this time? Well, first of all, can I call out my sponsors, right? Uh, I'd like to thank God, first of all, because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him or her or it. Okay. Second of all, Haran, thank you for the suit, brother. We really appreciate that. Shout out to LXG Barber Lounge. Grow Guys Birmingham, Rocker Burger, Bud Bukovin, Walking Kings, as you can see with the drink, um, Raw Dog Power Nutrition, and Official Club Air with these Japanese and Chaga fans. Hope you like them. Uh, Looking you, very sharp, by the way. I look good, don't I? I look good. Not as good as uh, Tyrone. Tyrone's looking, he's taking all No, 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 it's all you, bro. Yeah. It's all you. Let's, <laughs> let's leave it with you. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got a kind heart. He definitely felt like that. I, I was biting off more than I could chew, but he didn't know me. People don't know where I come from and what I've been about. And uh, Tom Little is as bad as scary as a my little puppy, you know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of any heavyweight in the world. Never mind Tom Little. By the way, I just so tell me, just uh, your KO went viral. That Even weren't reached of me. World. Say again. That weren't of me. I know it wasn't of <laughs> you. Just. I'm, I'm asking him a question. <laughs> your KO, one of your KOs went viral on World Star Hip Hop, right? You're obviously somebody not to be trifled with, not to mess around with. What are you going to bring in five weeks' time to your opponent here, Tommy Not So Little? 
relentlessness, uh, tenacity, uh, infatigability. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the top G. Um, I'm going to bring a lot of things that he's not seen before. I showed him a few tricks of boxing. Uh, and I hope the whole boxing community was watching and learned some new, new moves also. Because uh, I'm out here to teach the lot, the lot of you. So I'll be teaching him another lesson. And not so little, Tommy. Obviously for you, coming from a professional fighting pedigree, stepping in a rematch back into the ring with the judge. He's saying he is ready He's poised, he's gonna bring so much heat, tenacity, skill, and he's gonna show you once again what he's all about. What do you say in response to well, the judge? Listen, he reckons he's not bothered about any professional boxer, but he wouldn't do professional rounds. He, wouldn't, he, he refuses to, three minute rounds. But listen, I'll give the kid his candy, don't worry, you can have it. And then, listen, regardless, whatever, Whatever he brings, there's nothing I haven't seen. Like I said, I've been fortunate enough. I've been on the wrong end of it a, lot, a fair few times, but there's no getting away from the quality of people I've stood in front of. And let me tell you something. I'd, he knows himself. He don't have the hammer to put me away. There's no way on God's green earth he could not put me away. So listen, what he's going to do, there's an old terminology in boxing, right? It's called old man in someone, right? Now listen. To get me, you've got to pay to play, right? You get me for free, you get a drunk version of me. I will turn up drunk and fresh from the brass house, no problem, right? So then, big shout out to Bouncer for everything he's done. Listen, Bouncer, Tyrone, listen, now my boys, listen. Uh, for, but first of all and foremost, listen, I want to take my hearts off to them for what they're doing for people and for, for a community of people that don't get a lot of opportunities, yeah. right? But let's put this straight. I'm going to drag him to high, high lands, then deep waters, make him suffer, and then he's going to beg me to put him away. That's pretty much how the full storyline line's going to go. Well, you wow. say, though, I ain't got the hammer. You know the judge, right? I only hand out life sentences. So we'll see who's got the hammer come 9 18th. Yeah. yeah. I know he's, he's shitting it, really. He can act soft now. Let me the tell you something. You're stood there with, like, God knows how many you, people. Nobody would have came one down here on one up. I was coming down here on one up. Don't be stupid. One man up. Don't, don't, don't come down here on one up. Don't worry about me. I would have come down here on one up. I would have come down here on one I would have come down here on one You go nowhere. I would have come down here on one up. You'll go to hospital on your ones as well. Trust me. You'll go to hospital on your ones as well. Listen. Me, give Let me tell you that now. Get that shit for that idea. I don't need. I don't need people around me to be full brave. Trust me. Trust me. The first lesson I got in a boxing ring when I went into the gym when I was a kid. Yeah. Shut your mouth. When I went in, when I went in the boxing ring when I was a kid. Yeah. My dad didn't take me. I didn't have no community taking me. Yeah. The first lesson I learned in the boxing in a boxing gym because that was alone. I was alone. Do you understand that? That was my first lesson. It was going to be your lesson soon. When you're going to be alone in that ring with me, I'll put you in a fucking fake bin tin. You fucking. Let's continue this process. Don't even get that stupid idea out your head. You fucking jabroni. Hey, Tommy, are you that confident? Yeah. You this confident? Yeah. Let's let's sit down. Are you? Are you? I'm asking you a man, man question. Are you confident? Is the sky blue? You, you're, you're confident, yeah? Well, the sky's blue, isn't right, it? Right, now listen, where's Bounce at? Bounce. You're the man paying our money, yeah? Right, you're the man paying the bills, yeah? Let's get Bouncer right, on listen, the stage. Let me tell let's, you let's something now. Up. Let's bring Bouncer up. I know I'm getting a hell of a lot more money than you. I know I am, yeah? I'll put my purse on your purse now in front of all these people that I, bird, that I get to win. Winner takes a lot. Hey, you're that confident? Yeah. You know what? You know I've noticed with these lot? Because, you know, Billy Joe Saunders offering 100K, okay. you know, asking some stupid thing you're not going to answer to. Because it's just like a bravado, like, oh, 100K, 100K, oh, you know I'm not going to take the bet. It's just a way of you trying to act like you've got some sort of superiority or some confidence because you're throwing a few quid about. The bottom line is, yeah, right, bottom line is, why did Billy Joe go for the rematch with Chris Rubank Jr.? I tell you why, because he's saying about Billy Joe, I'm talking about you, you fucking sausage. Because they can't fight people that are prepared. They have to go for people when they're, when they're, when they're premature, and then they won't take the rematch. Why? Oh, he's not level, he's not good at it. He was hanging on for dear life. Yeah. Hanging on for dear so, life in the 12th round. When, then, when Chris Rebound, when Chris Rebound, what's Billy Joe got to do with this? Gonna, he's my pal. There's a couple of questions. You don't get it twisted. I know boxing. I know more about boxing than you Judge. will ever know. Judge, we've got a so couple I'll of questions here. I'll take that as a here. no, yeah? I'll take that you're not, not taking the bet. We want to go to you, you won't work so around Is that a no, you're not taking the bet? Is that, can I just clarify you're not taking the bet? 
Exactly. I'm happy with we, my person. We, right, okay, right. right from Bouncer. Right, boys, let's get a word oh. from Bouncer right We're going to hear now. from Bouncer on this one. How are you feeling with this one, Bounce? This is a very serious fight. Um, when Tommy Hench done, I think he punched the punching machine. And obviously, I think he said, um, Gypsy Killer. <laughs> that, they didn't like that, bro. Billy Jones saw this DM me. He's like, listen, I'm looking to put up 100K. Who, who, anyone that wants their bet. So I did, think anyone, they're, they're did anyone accept it? Your bags I'm talking about? They're talking about it's crazy money. Oh, Obviously, they, 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 he grand. said he's willing I'll to put up tenor. to 100 like bags. You want so a tenor. It could be 10 bags, 20K, a but, but they're, we'll have a tenor. they're not, they're, or, they're, they're or not playing games, in it. Or what colour grapes do you like? You what, yeah, if I take the bet, yeah, would, uh, would Billy Joe do a rematch with Chris Rebound Jr.? This ain't about Billy Joe. I'm talking to you as a man, Mr. Potato Head. What are you talking about? They don't care about Billy Joe. Listen, I don't care about that. They don't like it when you use their own logic against them. They start to crumble. Hey, talking about another me, man, bro. When you ask me. stupid things, you get stupid questions back. Just a just a quick just a quick question. Obviously, <laughs> clearly, yeah. there was no you're fighting for fighting for the bit of bread. There's a, bro, obviously, please. there was no love between both of you, right? And this to us, to all the audience, everybody here feels very serious and very. This means something to the both of you. For you, how have you prepared and how are you preparing now for the re remaining five weeks? for fight night main event, Wicked and Bad number four. Listen, I'm training as a professional man trains. Sweating. I bet you're right? sweating. I'm, swe I'm sweating because I'm carrying a few <laughs> extra pounds. You know what I mean? That's what you get when you're fun-sized, all right? You fucking dwarf. Right? Now, now let's have this right. right. You're I'm just doing my training, de dealing with everyday and life in between. And whatever you call I'm me, I'll be out, I'll smack you out your jeans, yeah? And now I'm making you sweat. You're running up and down here sweating, right. thinking, Judge, oh. let me tell you Judge, something I'm trying your best right? now. I'm under your let skin. Let me tell you I'm something now. Head. Hold on. I'm let let me head. tell I'm you something Judge. now. When let it me comes tell to you, you for a second, now. I just want to hear what this man has to say. Let him answer the question, and we're going to come to let you. Me, let me tell you something now, right? Bubblehead, right? I've come, I've go everywhere, all by me jack, all by myself. You come with your fucking babysitters, right? Now, listen, let me tell you something. Sit, I'm sit, Tom sit. Little from Atfield, Hartford. I give not one fuck for the devil himself. Right? So listen, you can come with your cronies, come with same. Listen, I'll be in the same place, doing the same thing, and I don't give a fuck for no man born from his mother's cunt. So they can have it however what, which way you want it, and, and we can rock and roll today, no problem. That's it. We've, we're not going to behave like we just saw earlier. Right, and well, shut your mouth up then, fucking fool. Right, it's, yours. it's my turn to talk, and we'll not be shutting my mouth up, son, right? The only reason is I'm letting you talk, because you've got something to say. Shush, 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 shush. It's still my turn to talk, shush. Don't worry, continue. Oh, right. He can talk now. Okay, that's it. Finish. One question, and then we're going to come to you, Judge. This bout, obviously, like I said before, it means a lot to you. This has been, for you, this has been scheduled as a professional matchup. How many rounds is, is this going to go? As long as I decide it to go, to be fair. Listen, the minute he feels, listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. There'll be no hanging on around my waist, no hanging around around my legs, fucking no trying to do your little silly faces. Listen. You're getting buried behind a big heavyweight professional jab. And it won't be coming, it'll be eating your arms, it'll be eating your chest, it'll be all something. And then I will decide sooner or later. I ain't worked out what I want to do you with. Because I do know that you, you, you don't hold a body shot very well. I, I did notice that. I, you kept wincing and squealing every time I was in clothes with you, going, oh, oh, oh. Like, I, fucking, I thought I was going to make you fucking you squirt the everywhere, shot. boy. You but, didn't uh, land a punch. Oh, so yeah, one jab. Let me tell you something now, right? Tommy can't punch, right? You're standing in front of a man that's been hit by some of the biggest hitters in heavyweight boxing, right? So listen, calm yourself down with your fucking dreams of knockouts because that ain't happening, right? Come, get your paycheck, right? Just leave a memo with my PA what colour grapes you want me to bring to the hospital, <laughs> right? Because I'm a gentleman, right? And I, I ain't got... People think it's bad. I've got bad blood against the guy. I ain't got bad, no bad blood against nobody. You listen, yeah, but you're, you're here to work, right? So yeah, I'm, this, I'm here to work. Business. Listen, I'll punch my best mate in the fa face for a few yeah, quick. Yeah. That's just how I am. <laughs> All right. When you said that to me online, you even... That's why I took this fight, because the fact that, you know... I do... There is likeness about him. There is some, a, lot, a lot of qualities to like about it. I like the fact that he's a real man that fights, because you know what? So many cowards in boxing... All these cowards docking me. I'm so tired of it. But Tom Little, no, you can't intimidate him. He'll fight any man, no matter what. And I, and I admire that about him. And okay, you can't that, take that away from him. That shows a lot of respect for your opponent, of course. And, you know, obviously it's an honor to have both of you as the main event, Wicked and Bad number four, sept September 18th. To judge, tell me, 
how are you preparing or how have you prepared for this? And obviously for the next five weeks, how are you going to continue to prepare for the main event? She was like, why are you your hand off me, boy? And I was like, thank you. Um, <laughs> just preparing like any other fight, really. You know, you just do your strength and conditioning, your training, and, you know, that's it, really. Eat a few pies. Just training like any other fight. Nothing special. How serious is this matchup for you? I mean, uh, it means the world to me, obviously. I mean, I heard, I heard Forrest say something about, you know, he's been waiting for this moment his whole life. And I feel that kind of sat home with me because I feel very similar to that too. I think it may be, it may be, you can laugh at that because he's on bigger stages. But I was the guy that they put in the corner. I was the guy that they, they, reje they rejected because I'm not conformist, as you can see. The way I dress, there's no <laughs> shoes on this. I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm an anomaly. I'm different. And he says that I can't punch, but he's never felt, he's never really felt the, what he's going to get on 18, uh, September 18th. I'm sure he'll change that opinion once I've absolutely rendered him unconscious. Tom, have, have Tom, we got tens on? Have we got, have we got tens on? What would you want? 12s, 10s? I'm not no, I'd like tens if we You'd can. You'd like tens? I'd like, I'd like tens. You nice, sure you would? Nice pair of rayers. Nice, I'll cut nice you off. Nice pair of tens. I've, got, I've only got a pair. Cut you off. Tommy, Snap them. Tommy, I want to ask you a question. Providing you win, where do you see yourself going from here? Um, fucking to I'll the Wizard of Oz if he wins. Fucking hell, that's as much chance he got of winning. When I knock him out, cold, right? I think that will send shockwaves across the world, and I'll be, I'll be open to any offers. Uh, okay, and same question to you, Tom Little. Providing you win, do you see yourself... When I win. So, okay, when you win, do you see yourself going back into the professional scene again? Do you know what it is? Listen, I'm not an idiot. I'm 35 year old. I'm on the, right, I'm on the wrong side of a professional career now, but what, what I will do is I'm, I'm having a look at how my body holds up through training camp. Anybody that says a, a training camp goes absolutely fair, they're fucking full of shit, right? Because you can't put your body... If you're training properly, you can't put your body through that and not have a niggle, have an ache, have to have some sort of treatment of whatever not. But listen, as far, it's been good, right? It's been as good as can be, can be expected for a 35-year-old heavyweight. Um, but I ain't really made my mind up on really what I want to do. Listen, I like what Bouncer's building. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, like, big yeah, old yeah, banter. I like, I like what he's building. Wicked and bad. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna come here and disrespect the man and say, right, I'm gonna set your show on fire and then fuck off to Sky Sports because that ain't <laughs> how Tom rolls. Tom's as loyal as an old dog, right? And listen, that'd be, I'm pretty sure we can find some people lacking about for me to cuff up along the way and just uh, have a bit of, have a bit of fun, torture them, beat them up. You're absolutely right. This is, we're creating here, or Bouncer and the team here are creating a phenomenal platform for anybody who feels like their voice is not being heard, they're not being given the right opportunities. This is what this is all about. It's about creating the right opportunities for people. So, you know. So it's called Wicked and Bad. I want to bring some badness and madness come September fucking 18th, I'm telling you. I can't wait to absolutely land these fucking windmills on that chin. Look at him. But you know you what? You can reach me with a stepladder, you soft cunt. <laughs> uh, okay. God. Listen, Tommy. You know, look, all fair play to you. You come in, you're giving it a go, and like, you've come dressed like Conor McGregor's cousin. <laughs> um, but, you know, right, listen. This is how it is. Come out. Just take, just take your hammer. Right, just take, take your ammo or your gavel or whatever it is. I'll send you back to Birmingham. Nice thing of grapes, Lucas. They get you through like the hospital treatment you and everything. Really think you're going to hospitalise me, don't you? But I really hope that I don't. That's you said the, it last time. You said it last time it didn't happen. Have you got the smacks out jeans? I was on the back. Your that, jeans back are at back. home on a frame. You yeah. know what I mean? So, do you want them back? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'll remember. I've done him a favour. Even he's more, more appealing no, now, isn't he? Imagine he came up in them tight jeans again on this stage now. The whole crowd wouldn't even take you seriously, have you said? I'm boxing in jet shorts made out of jeans just for you. <laughs> just, for me. Just, just for me. Just for you. Just for me. Just for you. Just for me. Because that's going to be the last thing you see when you're laid there look, looking, at, looking at the paramedics. They'd roll me over. I'm swallowing <laughs> my tongue. Tom, Tom, do you feel you got a point to prove? I've got nothing to prove. Listen, look at what I've done in boxing. Come on, be serious. Listen, there's guys over there seeing me stand and do some crazy things in front of some of the best heavyweights in the world, right? What the fuck have I got to prove from Tommy the, ju to Tommy the Judge Hench? Seriously, like, what have I got to prove? But the one thing I've got to do is just listen. I unleashed that little gremlin out onto society, right? Because, listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. It's my fault for doing something so stupid. So, listen... I pack him away in his box and I say, "Listen, Tommy, I'll get. I'll make sure 
we get your shot. Really it wouldn't even look me, it. look me in the eyes when he says these things. Look me in the eyes and say, huh? I look in the other. I am gonna fuck you differently, boy. That's how I'm gonna say to you. I'm not, I don't swing that way, son. <laughs> Bruv, I, don't swing I, that way. I never said it's gonna be optional. I don't say you've ever said. I'm literally, I, <laughs> literally, you got no choice in the matter, bro. Oh right. Same question to you, I suppose, right? Do you, the judge, have a point to prove to Mr. I Tommy mean, Little? In some ways, uh, I feel sorry for him because he's basically talked about how he's been in there with him, but he doesn't talk about any wins, does he? Um, you know, knocking him out, he's a very durable opponent, and he, because of his structure being so tall and being a professional um, licensed fighter, I should say, because I'm also a professional, but he but says... No, you're not. Do not talk. You got turned down from listen, the board. Listen, you might you got learn something. Turned down from the board. You might learn You're something if you can really, listen yeah. for longer than five seconds. But professionalism is just about, um, you know, what level you're at. There's levels to these things. Do you know, somebody that can get paid for a job, is that is the definition of professional. You get paid for the, tra the craft you do. Now, a license doesn't determine a professional, and also what doesn't determine a professional, the time that you have in rounds. The rounds are set, two minute rounds. There's eight rounds. I didn't complain. I didn't ask for any rounds. Right, that was given to me. I didn't want to back out or complain. Personally, myself, uh, I, I, see, I, see, I do see me stopping Tom Little. I see me stopping him with uh, a windmill, a lot of <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, when, when that windmill does land, it's a shame what happened to Tommy Little, innit? And it's I. <laughs> Ladies he was a good and guy. gentlemen. He was a good guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the Wicked and Bad Heavyweight Championship, Tommy, not so little, against Tommy, the Judge Hench. Hench. Yeah. Oh, get that. Round round by myself. Get Hench a hospital bed. Mm, I don't need no one help. Mm, I don't need no one else. Mm, build it by myself. Mm, Urban from top shelf. Yeah. I don't need no one. I don't need no one. Mm, uh, round round by myself. Mm, by myself, mm. I don't need no one help. Mm. I don't need no one else. Right, let's do it properly. Mm. Yeah. by myself. Mm. Bourbon from top shelf. Yeah, I don't even. I don't All right, know long let's face it, the crowd. Label or a manager. Gotta keep my percentages. Apparently, I'm my benefits. I don't got more talent in my left toe than your whole family generation. Never no breach. Never no siege. I see I'm putting up borders. Bitch, if you talk about funds, then I guess I'm a hoarder. Been high, took a look Come at on, stick. that's, that's not cool. Like Porter yeah. House, brand new LLC, new EIN, had to open up more. Accounts. Let's face the crowd. Let's get my bag, my bag. All right, let's get both of you facing more. the crowd. Let's face the crowd. Me Tell like, me. Yeah. Right, 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 let's, face the, let's face the crowd. I don't need no one help. I don't need no one else. Just having your face the crowd. Hands in the air, ladies and gentlemen. This is your main. I don't need no one. I'm gonna stand back up here again. This is your main event, September 18th. <laughs> Heavyweight Championship, Wicked and Bad number four. Tommy, not so little, against Tommy, the judge. They start getting challenged, then they say that I ain't playing fair. I showed them receipts and I don't need them to make it there. Then they get aggressive, but I don't advise they take it there. I'ma come around and every time I level up, I had to do them quick. Who you came here with are just the ones who be beheaded with. Talking like a CEO, but boy, you ain't ahead of shit. All that chasing wow. cloud done got you no wow. step, step into Yo. the middle, step into the office. What up, what up? How you, you feeling from this? Listen, entertainment from 